Hey, what's up, guys? It's Christian Ayala, also known as Blocks, from the Block Shop. And today, I'm gonna show you how to charge for your haircuts. When I started cutting hair, the first haircuts, were, you know, it, it was kinda, kinda like, they weren't all so perfect, so I, I, would, I would do for free. But then after I started getting better, I started charging $5, you know, and just kinda started working my way up. Yeah, I went from $5 to seven, you know, once I got a little bit better and stuff, you know, and then once I got a little better, I made the jump to, to $10, you know. I was charging so low at the time, but just to gain customers and just to have my friends coming in and out, you know, and I was still younger. And then back in the day, I think the minimum was like $8, you know, so you kind of have to go according to the, the minimum wage, how much people are making at the time. And, and that's what I was going based off, you know. Yeah, and, 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 and I was working at the garage at the time, so it, it was convenient to charge 5 to $10, you know. And then once I went to barber school, I, 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 I raised the price five more to $15, you know, once I got my, my license and I graduated. And, uh, and once I started going, once I went to a barber shop, I started charging for the beard, so it was fifteen dollars plus five more if you wanted the beard, so twenty dollars. So now um, the prices are a little bit different, you know. Um, I kept the haircut at twenty dollars, you know, like it's pretty average haircut twenty. The beard I went up to thirteen dollars, so now it's thirteen. The, and then uh, if you want just the goatee or just the facial hair shape, it's just ten dollars. And if you want a design or eyebrows, it's ten each, you know. So so ten bucks a uh, each thing. It's important to charge for the extra things because you, if, you, if you do it for free, like the beard and the eyebrow, you'll find yourself wasting a lot of time and, and pretty much giving out your product for free, you know? For a barber that's barely starting, barely, barely picking up the pair of clippers, you know? I know you wanna get hungry, you wanna make some money, you know? So just start, just charge a, a decent amount. I would start at $5, you know, just uh, to start. And as you're progressing, kind of like uh, uh, upper the charge a little bit, $2, $3, you know, just to, Keep climbing, you know? If you wanna charge 10, charge 10. If you wanna charge 15, charge 15. It just depends on your skill level, where you're at, and the people that are coming to you, they're comfortable paying the price. So when you raise your price, you, you'll get some people that, that don't wanna pay or that or they think it might be a little too much. So you kinda just gotta, you just gotta wait it out and see who, who stays with you and who values your work the most, you know? Cause not all people are gonna value your job or, or take you as serious as others. And some people might value your work and, and take it seriously, and some some people just won't. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you, yeah. Yes, sir. I'll catch you later. Oh, can I bro next week or what? Yeah, same time. Wednesday. Hold up. Uh, no, Tuesday. Oh, okay, soon enough. Tuesday, four thirty. Yes, sir, homie. All right. Yeah, hey, I appreciate you, bro. And yeah. you have a good weekend, brother. Yeah, yeah, you too, dude. You. You yeah, anytime, bro. Oh, I just keep getting a, give me a little $10 tip, you know? If you ever go up on prices, don't get discouraged because there's a lot of clients out there and uh, you might lose some, you might gain some. For every two that you lose, you might gain five. Hopefully this video helped a lot of people out there and um, I'll see you guys soon, guys. Thank you.